Okay, here is an introduction to our 1992 Toyota Camry we affectionately call 50 Shades of Grey. Um, I'm sure it's kind of visually apparent why we call it that. It's got silver hood. The rest of the car I think is a plum color is what they called it, but it's a grey. Uh, it's got a different grey on the bumper there and on the side there. Some overspray on the fender there. Kind of graying up on the top on the tops of the doors here on the trunk on the back bumper on the side and this other door's got it really bad so 50 shades of gray is the name of this one um uh, it's about the most basic model that they made it's a four cylinder got Manual winding windows, manual locks, manual transmission. It's about about the barest bones that they have. It does have air conditioning, which is nice, and it does work. Uh, you can definitely tell it's <laughs> seen much over its its years of being here on this planet. Uh, take a look at the odometer there, if it'll focus. That's 311,936. So, <laughs> definitely, definitely seen some miles. You can tell the dashboard is in need of repair. Um, does have an aftermarket stereo, which is kind of nice. No Bluetooth, but auxiliary port, which is really all you need. Um, this thing still runs, still runs well even though it's spitting out some chunks of bearing into the oil pan which is really not what you'd want to see but there it is the mighty 2.25 sfe engine uh it's a good engine pretty pretty dependable like i said still running well even though it's um puking out bearing but I want to rebuild it or at least build another engine for it. There's a, a Frankenstein motor that you can make with these. That's a combination of the bottom end of the 5S FE and the head from a 3S GE or GTE. Um, 3S GTE being turbo and 3S GE being non-turbo. Uh, but it makes it a higher airflow, a little bit higher of a higher performance motor. Um, which you can then go all out and stuff with power or you can keep it reliable and do a little bit of boost or just keep it naturally aspirated um so little things that i've done to this car i think the one that i'm most proud of is right down here yes sir that is a scoop <laughs> it is a metal funnel that has been bent <laughs> cut a hole out the hole out bigger in the bottom and duct hose being siliconed around it ran up underneath and into uh, let's see you can kind of see it there up into the bottom of the air box which at low speeds doesn't do much but <laughs> on the freeway it does have a little bit more more pull than it used to so I'm, I'm kind of proud of that. Um, you can tell <laughs> it's about as uh, any low budget car would look. You know, it's just been replaced with just generic hose on here going to the reservoir. Um, I've got eight millimeter spark plug wires. Ooh, high performance. Not really. Um, but... Yeah, like I said, it still runs well. I could even start it up for you now. Let's see. Alrighty. Let's set the parking brake. Put it to neutral. Alrighty, see? Purring like a top! Now it does have a bit of an exhaust leak. Alright, let me shut this off real quick. Uh, 
It does have a bit of an exhaust leak. The pipe that comes up into the manifold has actually separated from the, the flange. The weld is separated. And right now it's just sort of shoved up in there. So if I just, eh, comes right out. Now listen to it. Fumes, yummy. So, as you can imagine, <laughs> that's a bit of a problem. That's kind of the main reason why it's not on the road right now. Um, and then I also, like I say, want to <laughs> rebuild the engine because I know it stays renumbered with the uh, the bearing. Uh, I'm assuming the connecting rod bearings are the ones that are going, but it could be the main bearings. Um, let's see. What else do I have to tell you about this car? Um, Napa battery, go Napa. Um, this potentially, if I do get it running, may be another test subject for a uh, super capacitor battery. Um, it would probably be more of a long-term storage test, possibly with a little solar uh, keep alive, just to kind of keep a charge in it. So that might be a, a future test one day. Uh, other features, you notice these little red wires here, those go up to this little button on the dash, which is a happy horn. And then there's the regular horn. Um, let's see, the seats are good. <laughs> the seats are actually one of the best things about, I mean, Normally you get like tears and stuff in this hair, which you actually have really held up well in this car, surprisingly. I mean, the dash is in worse shape than the seat. Um, rear seat space is actually decent. It's a lot more than my Subaru. I've just got a Subaru Impreza, um, which I would like this to be more of a, a family cruiser. Uh, this also gets better gas mileage than my Subaru. Uh, this one I've had up over 30 miles per gallon, where the Subaru, well, the Subaru I guess I've had up over 30 as well, but that's just all highway miles. Where this usually averages around 24, 25, the, the Subaru, I guess, well, I guess it's about the same as the Subaru. Subaru's been about 24, 25. Um, let's see. Oh! I guess one thing I can show off are all the lights, except for the headlights, um, I've installed LEDs. So, I can kind of show you those. Those are all pretty, guys. Oh, let me set the hazards on so you can see them flashing. We got nice amber LEDs for the front flashers. And then we got red LEDs behind the amber lenses in the rear. So, yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Let's show you the trunk here. So, trunk, nothing super, super special, just a normal trunk. So give me your thoughts. What would you like to see done with this car? This car really is worth more to us as a vehicle than trying to sell off, because honestly, it's got a rebuilt title. The engine has got, you know, its days are numbered. It looks, you know, worse for wear. So, I mean, you can kind of see here, there's been some collision repaired done it's 
something that I wouldn't mind testing out some some ideas, some theories on. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see. Would you like to see that Frankenstein engine happen? A uh, little supercapacitor battery. I'd like to make this into a 24 hours of lemons car. If I do that Frankenstein motor, I think that would be fun. Um, what else? Seems like I had other plans. Maybe, oh, testing out like a one of those hydrogen fuel things where you're pumping, you know, like making hydrogen and pumping it into the intake and seeing if that gets you better gas mileage. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you want to see. We'll see if we can make it happen. This is kind of our guinea pig. Okay. Bye now.